Hello world, welcome back to another episode of Evans Eats, and tonight I'm going to be doing a, another Instant Pot video. I'm going to be doing a um, pot roast. So, let's go ahead and get into it. So, for this recipe, obviously, I've got a chuck roast. This is a about two and a half pounder. Got some soy sauce, some Worcester sauce, Worcestershire sauce. I've got some red wine. This is a 2015 excellent year. Fuck with me, you know I got it. We've <laughs> got uh, some bay leaf, some thyme leaf. Got some Italian seasoning mix. We've got some minced garlic. We've also got this is about one medium sized onion. I just did like a medium dice on. We've got some baby carrot. Got some cabbage. And this is four smaller potatoes that I just kind of chunked up, medium dice as well. And that's pretty much it. I've got some cornstarch also for the end. We can do just to thicken up our uh, sauce for this one, but that's about it. So let's go ahead and get started. So we will start by focusing on our star of the show. So what we're going to do is going to pat this bad boy dry. I went ahead and turned on my Instant Pot and uh, have it on saute. We're going to wait for that to get hot. And when it's ready, it'll have uh, the word hot come across the screen. You'll know you're good to go. So yeah, we'll get this guy patted down. Put some S and P, and then whenever our instant pot comes to temp, we will throw some oil in there. And we'll throw this side down, and we will pat the other side and season it up as well. Okay, so I just got word that our instant pot is extra hot, so we're gonna squirt in some oil. Anywho, now what you want to do is take that side that we already patted dry and seasoned and slap him down in there. So we got him all patted down and season this other side. Oh yes. Show with the love, show with the love. S&P makes me happy. Alright, so we're going to let this go for probably, I don't know, five to eight minutes. Just want to get a really good sear on there and get some good color. Alright, I'm doing the clay out. It's time to flip. So, get on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we'll let that go for about another eight minutes. Get some color on that side, and then we'll take it out, and we we'll start the rest of this process. Alright, I'd say we're good, so we're going to take him out. Okay, so now that that's done, add in a little tiny squirt of oil, throw in our onions. We're going to let those saute up for a couple minutes. So we're going to go ahead and add some red wine. So about half a cup. And that will just, one, give us more flavor to our finished product. And two, it's going to make sure we get all those sticky bits of flavor off the bottom of that pot there. And as you can see, she is clear. 
I'm just going to continue to cook this down for probably two to three more minutes here. Alright, it's been cooking down for a few minutes. We're going to go ahead and add just a cup and a half of just plain water. We'll do a tablespoon of Worcestershire. Put a teaspoon of the soy sauce. Teaspoon of dried thyme, bay leaves, a cup of bay leaf, and also about half a teaspoon of that Italian blend. Give that a mix. Mm, that smells good. Okay, go ahead and add our trivet back in. As well as our beef. And what we're going to do is I'm going to pressure cook this. It's going to take about 40 minutes. And then we'll take that out, we'll move our meat, we'll add in the rest of our veg. And we're going to pressure cook that for about another five minutes. And then we'll do a quick release. And then we'll mix everything back together and we'll be ready to eat. So. We'll see you soon. Maybe. There we go. Get our lid on there. Make sure we're in the ceiling position. Okay. Cancel. Pressure cook. There we go. Alright, now I'll give it 10 seconds. And it'll start to work its magic. And I will see you guys in about 40 minutes. Alright guys, sorry. Our uh, timer went off. I'm slacking here. Our timer went off. So, we're going to let it go for 10 minutes on a natural release. And then we will turn our valve to uh, release the rest of the pressure. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. Also, I don't know if you realized earlier in the video, this was facing the opposite way. Um... That was not right, and it took me about 10 minutes to figure out what was going on with my Instant Pot because it was shooting steam everywhere, so try to avoid that if you can. Alright, so we just hit 10 minutes, so we're going to go ahead and quickly release the rest of our steam. <laughs> our pin just dropped, so let's see what we got. It does smell good. Chicken noodle soup. Huh? Crazy. It smells like noodle soup. What's your chicken in it? Alright. Oh my. This smells so good. It's already falling apart. I'm barely even touching it. But guys, if you uh, don't have an instant pot, I'm going to tell you right now pot roast is reason alone. It's enough to get one. Like, seriously, it makes it worth it. 40 minutes and you've got a roast that's. It's like it's been cooking all day. You see in this? Like, it's insane. It just falls right apart. Alright, let's go ahead and get this out of here. Alright, so, we've got our liquid, and to our liquid, we're going to add the rest of our veg. Our potatoes. Our carrots. And our cabbage. And we're going to put it back on. Pressure cook. We're gonna go down to five minutes and we're gonna cook it for the five minutes and then we'll do a quick release and it'll be time to eat. Alright, our timer went off for our veggies, so we're gonna do another quick release. Alright, our pin just dropped, so let's see what we got. Oh, beautiful. Alright, so. Shredded the rest of our meat. We're gonna throw that back into the pot. And just mix all that together. Oh man. Bed. 
edge so it'll cut perfectly. Now I like mine a little thicker, but Katie likes her pot roast to be really juicy and runny, so we're gonna leave it like this. But if you wanted it to be a little bit thicker, make almost a gravy. Um, just make a cornstarch slurry, do about two or three tablespoons of cornstarch to the same amount of water, and that would thicken up nicely for you. But we're gonna go ahead and dig in, so uh, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. Um, yeah, you guys enjoy the rest of your evening. Peace out. Bye.